Welcome back to the Flow Friday Sports Show. It's time for a look at the Northeastern Football League. Andrew Mitchell's our correspondent for this league. He's on the line with me right now. How's it going, Andrew? Yeah, going well. Sitting inside, it's uh, starting to rain, so it's a perfect day. Very good stuff. Hopefully there's plenty of rain coming down and uh, keeping that soil nice and moist, but uh, I'm sure the footballers are hoping it's uh, dry, at least those that don't work on farms. But uh, before we get into the games tomorrow, Andrew, uh, what were, what can you tell us about country champs and the, the performance of some of the lads that were selected from the Northeastern Footy League? Yeah, no, obviously, uh, Northeastern had a quite a good contingent of nine players for the northern uh, zone, so that's a good effort by them. Um, all played well from the uh, information I've got. Uh, Charlie Riggs was probably obviously the standout for the northern with uh, Kramer from, I reckon, he's from either northern areas or up that way. Um, uh, but, yeah, no, there's the likes of Matt Longbottom, Jackson Lee, Blake Lowner all held their own and did exactly what you'd expect them to do in those uh, carnivals. So all played well. All right, very good stuff. Country champs done and dusted for another year and no doubt some players in North Eastern were pretty happy to get the week off and uh, very happy now to get back into things rested for the home stretch of the season. Let's have a look at these games that are coming up this weekend. Uh, at Udunda Oval tomorrow, Southern Saints hosting Blythe Snowtown. The Cats got on a bit of a roll there and then crashed back down to earth before the week off. Uh, they'll have their work cut out for them here in this one, though. The Saints, 8-1 and one with a healthy percentage. They're looking pretty hard to stop at the moment. Yeah, no, I couldn't agree with you more. No, they'll be very hard to stop at Udunda. Uh, Southern Saints will love this weather. The hard and in, in tight contest uh, with a wet oval and wet ball, uh, they'll just love that and uh, they'll be very hard to beat and I uh, expect a big win by them over Bly Snowdown. They got a bit of a track record playing well in the wet? Yeah, no, I just think the style of football they play, they're very great ball users, they're hard, they get in tight and uh, use it well and uh, don't mind the physical stuff, so it'll be a good game by them. All right, tips in for the Southern Saints in that one. Next game, BBH hosting the BSR Tigers. Uh, this one could get ugly. I would imagine that the BSR Tigers, even playing on the road, will probably win it pretty comfortably. Yeah, you'd expect so, and I think, suspect with the winds they're talking and the potential rain, that it'll be pretty ugly up at uh, Borough. Uh, the wind will blow from the uh, west across the east. The ball will end up out in the uh, car park, as it often does at Borough, with those big winds and spend most of its time in the southern uh, southeast pocket there, being pushed out of bounds. So I expect BSR will get the job done, but uh, it'll be a tough day for BBH. And I'd imagine BSR are probably still filthy that they lost a game a few weeks back and uh, the, the undefeated season is no longer a possibility. That's probably motivating them for the rest of the way. Yeah, no, that's right. In saying that, I don't think any team really likes going into a final series undefeated. It puts a, their uh, expectation on you. So I think they've got that out of the way now and they can roll into the rest of the season. Very good point. You don't want that weight of expectation. And then to fall at the final hurdle, you've got to be tested along the way. So BSR Tigers going along very nicely. It should be another win for them tomorrow. North Clare hosting the Min Man Eagles. And this will be one of the games of the round, if not the game of the round. North Clare 6-3 and three on the season. Min Man 4-5. And, and it's a good chance for them playing on the road at Clare Oval to close that gap if they can win. Yeah, no, definitely the game of the round, I suspect. Uh... It'll be a very tight game. Yeah, small oval at Clare. I think the oval starting to struggle with its use, um, the amount of use that the gets, and uh, it'll be a boggy, wet uh, day at Clare. And whoever can uh, capitalise on those scoring opportunities will win the game there, and it could go either way. Um, but I will probably tip North Clare at this stage. They played all the way back in round three uh, early in May and it was North Clare 15 7 97 to the Minman Eagles 7 10 52 in a Minman home game. So you're certainly onto something there with the goal kicking. The Eagles will want to straighten that up from the last time they met. That one blew out to a 45 point margin, but probably didn't need to be that much if the uh, goal kicking accuracy had been reversed. So that's probably shaping up as the game of the round. The RSMU Hawks, they've been a bit of an enigma this year. They can beat the top teams. They can also lose to the bottom teams. So coming up with a home game against South Clare, if you just look at the ladder, you would think it should be a win, but we just don't know. Yeah, no, I'll probably agree that uh, I think RSMU will be pretty confident going into this one. Uh, they will get the job done down there. Uh, they love their home oval at Riverton and South Clare will continue to work on getting time into these kids, as I speak about every week. Um, 
I don't know whether they've got some of the, whether Jack Slattery will be back playing this week. It'll be uh, after a play, kicking his eight two weeks ago in his first game. Whether he'll line up up forward again or not. Um, yeah, but no, RSMU definitely be the favourites. All right, fantastic round ahead in the Northeastern Footy League. Looking forward to seeing how it all shapes out. We'll review all these games when we chat next Friday. Good luck to everyone playing this weekend in Northeastern. Andrew, enjoy, and we'll catch you next week. Will do, no worries at all. Thank you.